would you just love to have a career that is based on your interests, your passion, your morals, your values, and this same said career also makes money. What would you say if I told you that there is a way to combine your interests, your passions, your morals, your values into a career that actually pays a lot of money so that you wouldn't have to ha worry about your finances, yet you're doing a job that is fulfilling you and satisfying all your needs. If that sounds good to you, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Let's dive in. Hey, hey, ladies, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamiso Miranda and this channel is all things INFJ careers and INFJ entrepreneurship. And if you'd like to find more opportunities that are suited to your personality type, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and be sure to click the bell notification next to it so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. I briefly want to go over the INFJ's relationship with money because there are some issues there that need to be addressed and I'm going to do that in this video as well. And then right at the end of this video, I have three INFJ careers that make money that I would like you to consider in your job search. So let's start off by looking at INFJ careers that don't make money. So I am an INFJ myself and I know that we can all be so idealistic and just run away with the fairies. It is important to always remember that any career or any job that we take, it has to earn us an income because fulfilling our passions and our interests is so important to us, so is earning a living. We have to constantly remind ourselves to not pursue our passions and our interests to the point that it starts to affect our quality of lives. And I know it is very tempting to just go straight to your passions, your interests, your morals, and do that thing that really fulfills you, but you first have to identify does that thing earn me an income that is enough to sustain my daily needs? Because if you don't focus on the income part of the career, you are going to stress yourself out because when you have no money, you have a lot more worries, you have a lot more issues, you have a lot more anxieties. So to avoid these anxieties, it is important to pay special attention to the income that is going to come from the career that you are considering. So the number one issue is that INFJs struggle to find the careers that actually interest us and the careers that pay well. So it's either we find a job that completely fulfills us, but it doesn't pay a lot. And the jobs that are paying a lot are not fulfilling us. So it's the balancing game. It's very difficult to find a career or a job that is meeting our expectations, meeting our needs, our wants, our passions, and also is paying enough to provide a comfortable lifestyle. My suggestion is to find a combination and get creative. The easiest thing to say is that you need to find one career that is fulfilling your passion, that is doing all the things that is fulfilling you and making you feel like you are doing something fantastic. Whilst on the other hand, you have to have another job that is specifically for paying the bills. And if that is something that you are not comfortable in doing in finding two jobs, one to fulfill you and the other one to pay the bills, if you are struggling to find one job that does that for you. I am a firm believer in that INFJs are perfect candidates for entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship allows you to create your own career. Entrepreneurship allows you to literally hand pick what you want to do. So you could pick your passion, your interests, your experience, your hobbies, your morals, all of that and find a way to make an income out of that. You could literally use your gifts, your talents, your skills, your knowledge, your experience and create a career for yourself as an INFJ woman. And if that's something that you would like to do, I have a link down in the description below with free consultation calls 
So go ahead and schedule something. I would love to help you. And I believe that most INFJs don't automatically gravitate towards entrepreneurship because we tend to have a fixed negative belief on a business and making money. Some people believe that money is bad. It's bad to want money. Everybody should just be comfortable. You should just want the mindset that money is not bad. Money is, in fact, a life essential. It will be very difficult to live a happy and fulfilling life with no money. And for those that are open-minded enough to go for entrepreneurship, you will quickly realize that starting your own business is a great medium for you to have a positive impact into this world and help people that are waiting for your skills, your knowledge, and your expertise. So as INFJs, we have so much drive, so much ambition, and there is so much good that we want to do in the world. And because of our ambition, we are able to quickly learn new skills, and we, are, we like to learn new things. For myself, for example, I absolutely love to learn a new thing. I get so excited and I love to read different books. I like to read, to study, to listen to podcasts, take online courses, all of that. I love to learn. And one thing to consider is that for the INFJ, even though we find a job using our passions, our interests and all of that, eventually it will start to feel like work, even though in the beginning, that was our perfect career. It was our perfect job. Everything was perfect, perfect, perfect. After some time, it may start to feel like a chore. So for example, when I set up this YouTube channel, because everything was so new to me, I didn't know anything about video editing, about lighting, about filming, SEO, and all of that. I was super excited. And every day I'm learning new things and I'll be excited to try out what I've learned, to test this, test that. But after a while, it started to feel like work. And at that point, I realized I need to switch things up. I need to do something different. So then I started filming in different locations because in, in a new location, I have to find the best angle, the best lighting, the best microphone and all of that. But it makes it exciting. And also I decided to switch up my editing software so that I can take my videos to the next level. Again, that adds that element of excitement because I have to learn this new software. So I was using iMovie. Now I've jumped to Premiere Pro which is intense and crazy, but I am enjoying learning. So bear with me if my videos are not where they need to be, but be assured I am in the background learning how to improve that situation. So if you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it. So for the moment you've all been waiting for, the three careers that make money and will fulfill all your needs. So the first career has to be entrepreneurship for me. I believe entrepreneurship is the way to go hands down because you get to tailor and custom whatever you end up doing to yourself. You can create yourself an online business through a blog, through a social media outlet, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You could set up an online store. The options are absolutely endless depending on what it is that you want to do. My second career that makes money is to be a business consultant. Generally, INFJs, we don't like to work as practitioners, but we like to help practitioners, practitioners more effectively. So this is a way for INFJs to put into practice our coaching and counseling gifts. This is a way for us to put those to use by being a consultant in your field, in your industry. You can help businesses to bridge the gap so you don't get bored because you're not working with the same people all the time and you have the same problem but from a slightly different angle so as a business consultant you would have an issue that you address maybe your thing is to take businesses that are currently offline and to bring them online so you get to work with small to medium-sized companies and look at their mission statement and what they stand for and create for them a content plan and help them come into an online platform and for a little while you help them to manage it you teach them how to run it and then you move on to the next company and the next company and the next company i believe that this is a fantastic opportunity for infj millennial women because going with the example we are so tech savvy and this is something that many of us can do 
all you have to do is to look around in your local area, in your local communities and spot the businesses that are currently not online and make a proposal for them and pitch it to them with the benefits that being online will present to them and, and all of that. Again, if this is something that you are interested in, I do have a link down in the description where free consultation calls. My third INFJ career that makes money is to be a coach. As an INFJ, I know that we love to help people. We are so empathetic. And if there is something that you have been through in your lifetime, if you were once obese, for example, and you put yourself through a fitness program, you got yourself in check and you managed to lose weight, you could become a fitness and health coach. Um, if you are someone that went through a traumatic experience that would have broken many other people or that other people would not have been able to go through, you can become a coach and a specialist in that area because you have the experience, you know what you went through and you got yourself through that. So the same way that you got yourself through that, there are hundreds and thousands of other people that are stuck in situations similar that don't know how to get out of it or they don't know what to do and you can take them through step by step and navigate them through how you got yourself out of the situation. Also, coaching is about what, based on your experience, what experiences have you had? What are you good at? What can you naturally do that you can coach other people at so for example if you are a makeup artist and you just naturally like makeup you've grown up doing makeup your friends makeup everyone's makeup you're a makeup artist you can become a makeup coach there are still plenty of people out there that would love to have a makeup coach you could teach them through the different skin types the different types of makeup skin tones the reds, the yellows, there is so much that you can teach and coach somebody through. Because INFJ, INFJs excel at understanding others, coaching would be a fantastic job that we can do. Now, let me know down in the description which of these three careers that make money you would like to consider. Now, go and watch this playlist next and I'll see you in my next one as we continue our journey towards a more wholesome, healthier and more meaningful lifestyle.